तुलसी सिद्धांत सरस्वती विजयते गौरी गोष्ठी पति वंदे गुरुपद द्वंदम भक्त बिंद समित श्री चैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्री नंद नंदन वंदे राधिका चरणोदय गोपीजन सयुक्त बिंदाबनम मनोहर वाशाकुवश के पास सिंधु भवच पति पावने वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम मुखं करोति वाचाल पंगुंगल हैतगिरी यत्तमहंग वंदे परमाधव बृंदावी तुलसीदेव पिया वै केशव सच स्नभक्तिपदे देवी सत्वत्व नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नरुंच नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो मुदीर संकर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरी पत्र प्रकाशने सदाक्त गुरुभक्ति भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगोदर धेय सदा परिभवनमीष्टदूहम तीर्थास्पद शिवभिचनुत शरण भीतात्म पुनुतपालीपूत वंदे महापुरुष ते चरुणारिंद यत्दपल्लवन खचंदमनीटा विस्फुजीत किशुदर्शनागर सागर सारमूर्ति साराधि कामयी कदा कि श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नेतानंद से आदत गदाधर शिव सदी गौर भक्तबिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे आजानुलंबित भुज कनका बदा तो संकीर्तन कवितर कमलाशताक्ष विशाबरो द्विजरो जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणावतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे आजानुलंबित भुज कनका बदा तो संकीर्तन कपितर कमलाशताक्ष विशाबरो द्विजरो जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणावतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे नमामि गंगे तव पाद पंकज सुरासुरबंदि दिव्यूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दिनी भावान्ण सदा नरा गंगा तरंगरमणीय जटाकलाप गौरी निरंतर विभूषित वाम भाग नारायण प्रिय मनंगमदापहारम वाराणसीपुरपति भज भी शराथम वागी सजुस्वदने 
लक्ष्मीजस्वचभक्षसी जैसे हृदय संविहित पम निशिंगम हम भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे संसार सिंधु उत्तर ने हृदय यदि साध संकीर्तनामृतर से रमते मनोच्छेद प्रेमाम बुधौ विहरणे यदि चित्त बीति चैतन्य चंद चरणे कुरुतागम चैतन्य चंद चरणे कुरुतागम संसार सिंधु उत्तर ने हृदय यदि साध संकीर्तनामृतर से रमते मनुष्छेद प्रेमाम बुधौ विहरणे यदि चित्त बीति चैतन्य चंद चरणे कुरुतागम चैतन्य चंद चरणे कुरुतागम गौड़ी गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगत प्रभुपा परमंश जगत गुरु सेट दे टू गेट एस्टाब्लिश इन द आचरण ऑफ गौरांग महाप्रभु to get established already to get established in the acharan of gauranga mahaprabhu is a meaning of actual preaching this is the actual meaning of preaching gauriya goshti pati sisila bhakti siddhant saraswati goshami dr bhopal parvangsa jagat guru said that to get completely established in the acharan of gauranga gauranga mahaprabhu it is called actual preaching otherwise you can give some dry philosophy to others you can go on speaking so many thing dry philosophy but this is not actually preaching acharan of gauranga mahaprabhu means complete acharan completely established in hari bhajan i was speaking yesterday whenever i am enjoying full kripa of guru varga when i myself enjoying full kripa of guru varga suppose i am enjoying full kripa of guru varga then by the mercy of guru varga gauranga mahapo surely can become happy because जोशो प्रसाद भगवत प्रसाद जोशो अ प्रसाद नगद गोपी इफ आई एम एंजॉइंग फुल कृपा ऑफ गुरुवर्ग दैट्स मीन इट इज श्योरली द कृपा ऑफ गोरंग माप फुल कृपा ऑफ गोरंग माप इन दैट केस ड्राई फिलोसॉफी कैन नॉट कम नॉट पॉसिबल इन दैट केस ड्राई फिलोसॉफी कैन ने कम कैन नॉट कम then actual acharan what i am doing that i am speaking that is the teachings of chaitanya mahaprabhu what ever he wanted to show us by acharan that is our teachings sadu upasya simam dhito manuj kavi pranaitam i already told hindi katha jagadanand pandit Jagadanand Pandit, the eternal parshad of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, writing his uh, his book, uh, Prem Vibhartha. He is writing. Everybody claiming, I am doing of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. I am the dear and near one of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. But Jagadanand Pandit, Pandit writing, joking. Gorar ami, gorar ami, mukhe boli le nahi chale. Gorar achar, gorar bichar loi le phal phale. लोग लोग देखानो गोरा भचा तिलक मात्र धरी गोपने ते अत्याचार गोरा धरे चूरी जदि प्रणय राखी थी चाओ गौरांगे सने छोट हरिदास कथा थकि जान मे बेंगल वेरी नाइस जगदानंद पंडित स्पीकिंग इफ यू ओनली क्लेम आई एम डुईंग कृष्ण भजन आई एम गो कृष्ण गौरांग भजन आई एम डुईंग गोरार आमी गोरार आमी 
Barbali, if you claim, no use. Gorar Ami, Gorar Ami, Mukhe Boli Lenjai. Barbali, if you claim repeatedly, useless. If you are going to accept all the acharan shown by Gauranga Mahaprabhu, Gauranga Mahaprabhu going to show all acharan. If you are able to accept everything, then you can claim. Not before that. Gauranga Mahaprabhu, his each and every action, each and every action, every mood, Every action, whenever what he is doing, all has some secret meaning. Very, very secret meaning. If I am able to accept under the guidance of Guru Varga, Acharan of Gauranga Mahapu myself, then no father in the world, no power in the world can stop me. No father, no, no power in the world can stop me. If I am myself is established in the Acharan of Gauranga Mahapu, that is the main point. So, Jagadananda Pond is speaking, if you are able to accept the, all the Acharanam Gauranga Mahaprabhu, shown by Gauranga Mahaprabhu, then okay. Gorar Achar, Gorar Vichar, Loile Fall Fall. But externally you are taking red cloth or uh, white cloth, whatever, putting tilak, radha kundtulak, anything. It can give no result. Lok dekhano gora bhaja. Externally, I am showing, I am doing, I am doing gauranga bhaja. Lok dekhano gora bhaja. Tilak matto thuri, I am doing tilak everything. You saw my external best. But secretly, I am doing all rubbish. Secretly, I am doing all rubbish. I am characterless. Secretly, I am doing all rubbish. In that case, you can get severe punishment. Gorar achar, gorar bichar, loyal fall fall. Log dekhano gorar baja, tilak matto dhuri. Gorang maapu can immediately arrest you. But he is sitting inside. How I can cheat him? Gorang maapu himself sitting inside me. In the form of Paramatma. How I can cheat? Everything visible. Perhaps first day I was speaking one thing. First day. One sloka I was speaking. That Parikhid Maharaj asking to Sukhdev Goswami. Parikhid Maharaj asking to Sukhdev Goswami. Parikhid Maharaj asking to Sukhdev why it is so that those who are worshipping Ganesh, those who are getting Durga, Surya, Ganesh, Siv, they are getting all appliances, everything. They are leading their life to full enjoyment. Whereas Vaishnavas, they have no penniless. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Why so? Why Vaishnavas are usually niskinchan? Why so? Whereas they are worshipping the Supreme Lord, they can get everything. Why? Then our Sukhdeva Goswami speaking, Rajan, try to consider this Siddhanta. That those demigods, they are within this material world. Material world means up to Brahma, all material. Maybe fine matter or a fine matter. The, the more you can go up, the more you can get fine matter. Fine. Matter is there. Not like you, the blood and flesh. Well, the matter is there. Bhur, Bhuba, Swa, Maha, Yanu, Tapo, Satya, you go up. They can all matter. Abrahma, Bhubana, Luka, Punaravartinha, Arjuna. All in cyclic order. Arjun, from Brahma up to ant and mosquito. All. No. No way out. So, Sukhdev was speaking, Rajan, you should consider this main factor. That the demigods, they are belonging to the material world. But Hari, Hari is not belonging to material world. We, Hari is beyond this material world. Hari, this Tatha, Hari is beyond this material world. Then how you can consider both same? Those who are worshipping 
material gods, I mean demigods, they are in this material world. If you want money, position, any, all garbage. You take. Garbage, you are asking garbage, no? Garbage, you are asking. Garbage, you are asking. So you again. But you are not asking the actual property, which is called Krishna Prema, what Mahaprabhu wanted to give us. That's why Sukhdev Goswami is speaking, giving answer. Rajan, you should consider this vital point. Harir hi nirguno shakshat purushaha prakate parehe. Harir hi nirguno shakshat purushaha prakate pare. Sha sarbodrik upadoshta tang bhajano nirguno bhavet. Rajan actually hurry is beyond this material world. Nirgun. And he can he is watching everything sitting inside you. Hare he nirguno shaksha purusha prakriti par. Sha sarbodrik upadoshta. He is watching everything. I can come to the Vedanta discourse. Bhagavan has no hand, no leg, no eyes. But can see everything, can accept everything, can run. What is this? Bhagavan has no eyes, no leg, no hand, nothing. But can run fast, accept everything, see everything. How is that possible? There is big fighting going on between Sarvam Vartajajo and Mahaprabhu giving answer. That I can come. So, Harir hi nirguno shakshat purushaha prakati pare. So, if if somebody like to worship Hari, if somebody like to worship Hari, how you can worship? Staying, staying in this material platform, don't become angry. Staying in this material platform, it is impossible to worship Hari. Anyway, to worship Hari, you will have to go beyond this material limit. Someday we will have to cross this level. But for demigods, no. Yeah, you are material. You are material, you are also worshipping as possible. That's why in Archan Paddhati, one book, Guidance for Archan. You are getting? You have book? No. Archan Guidance, book. There you can find one mantra. There you can find one mantra. Deva Bhutva Devam Archayat. If you like to worship Devota, then you will have to grow Deva Bhav. One example I can give. Our Pundarik Vidhanidhi is a great Gaura Parshat. Great. Actually, he is Vrishwabhanu Maharaj. In Krishna Lila, in Krishna Lila, he is Vrishwabhanu Maharaj. In Krishna Lila, he is Vrishwabhanu Maharaj. So, while, he, when he is sitting for or sip, salagram, he had one salagram, every day giving gold. Salagram is there. Every morning time you can find some gold is there, outside salagram. One salagram there. Every day morning time you can discover gold is there from power. Some gold. That's salagram. Now nobody can believe. Practically. So before worshipping for, before sitting for worship, he, he used to drink Ganga water. He used to drink Ganga water. Actually, before archan, it is prohibited to take even a drop of water. Or if you drink before 3 o'clock, 3.30 is okay. But next day, when next day starting, before you have to do anik. Follow? You can drink water, but it's 3 o'clock, when previous day. But after flow cock, it is now today. Come, you cannot drink. First of all, you will have to chant anik. After that, uh, chant anik means one kind of worship also. Chant and mentally. So, before worshipping, he used to drink water. Why? It's strange. He used to believe 
that after drinking water, I can become pure enough to worship Hari. Because Ganga water is Chinmay. Ganga water is Chinmay, transcendental water, Prakito, very pure. Pure. Ganga coming out from the lotus feet of Bhagavan. So, with his belief, he used to drink water. After that, become pure, then started to sing. Actually, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to teach us Bhuta Suddhi. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to teach us Bhuta Suddhi. Bhuta Suddhi, mane, try to read. Don't make, take it, uh, you know, otherwise. Bhuta Suddhi means our body is made up of blood and flesh. Mentally, we are contaminated. In this case, before purifying ourselves, we have no right to touch even salogram. In Hari Bhakti Vilas, it is written, if some material man having different karma, all dirty, if he is going to touch salogram, it is written, salogram speaking, Bhagavan speaking, as if he is, you know, he is cutting me with knife. With knife. Sargam speaking, those who are dirty character, have no controlling, nothing. If he is going to touch me, Sargam, as if I feel that with a knife he is going to cut me. Cut me. So pain. So anyway, before touching Sargam, before touching Giriraj, Maharaj, which might grow purity. That's why Sriman Mahaprabhu wanted to teach us Bhuta Suddhi. Naham bipo nacha narpati na bi vaishya na suddho naham burni nacha gya patir na varansa tirva kintu paddhan dikhila parmananda purna vita dher gopi bhartur padakamalayor dasa dasa nu dasa. I mean this is one mantra, I mean this is one mantra by the help of which you can grow pureness, purity. I am not body, I am not king. I am not king, I am not Vega, nothing. Naham Bipo. I am not Brahman, I am not Shudra, I am not Kshatriya, I am not king, nothing. My identity is only spirit soul. I will have to concentrate. I am pure. Spirit soul means pure. Your Atma is pure. All Atma. No contamination. But contamination is there, up, covering. Atma itself is very pure. All Atma, wherever, you, your body, any, any Atma, it's all pure. But the main problem, contamination then, in contact with Maya, they, so they develop some covering. That is called contamination. That you will have to dismantle. You have to dismantle this covering. Thak. After that you can grow purity. Oh, I am not man, I am not woman, I am not king, I am not beggar, I am nothing. I am only Atma. And all Atma, if you calculate, Bhagavan already speaking, the Atma is actually feminine gender. How? It's Shakti Tattva. Atma, all Atma is a Shakti Tattva. All Atma is actually Shakti Tattva. Shakti Tattva means feminine gender. So, the extreme luck, extreme advantage we can get. The extreme advantage. When we can feel, of course everybody cannot feel. It depends, there is so many Siddhanta Vichar. When we can feel, we are Gopi Bhartur Padakamalur Dasa Dasan Dasaha. When we can feel this way, Gopi Bhartur, Atat Gopinath, is the servant of the servant of the servant of the servant, or maid servant, what is it? That is the extreme identity. I mean the maximum possible. Mane Jivatma can identify. Regarding Rasa Tattva, sometimes Dasa, uh, sometimes Santo, Dasa, Saksha, Vatsalo, Madhur. But that is the extreme point shown by Siman Mahaprabhu. So, to accept all the acharan of Siman Mahaprabhu is not a matter of joke. Whatever Mahaprabhu wanted to show, all for our teaching. He has nothing to do. In Gita Bhagavan speaking, Arjun, 
actually I have nothing to do. Bhagavan speaking in the second chapter. Arjun, actually I have nothing to do, what I can do? But still I am doing. Because if I am not doing, nobody can do. If I am not going to do, eh, nobody can do. That's why I purposely doing. Actually I have no response, nothing. I have no duty, nothing to do. But still I am doing. So that people can learn from me. That is the I mean. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is not a devotee. But purposely he is acting as devotee to teach us everything, each and everything, one by one. So Jagadananda Pandit wanted to say, if we are in a position to accept all the achar, acharan of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, then our bhajan is successful and then you can act as a preacher knowingly, unknowingly. Knowingly, unknowingly? Unknowingly who can preach? Yes. Unknowingly preaching can be done. Suppose one Mahapurush, Paramahansa, is absorbing condition. He is not preaching. By watching him, somebody changes some their mind. Their mind changes. Unknowingly, he is not purposely going for preaching. By, but, but by watching Gorkishar Baba, but by watching Jagannath Das Baba, because they are already established they are already established in the acharan of Gauranga. So this is actually the identity of a preacher. So what's wrong in it? Gaurkishar Babaji Maharaj is not going outside America, France for preaching. But his acharan itself is one kind of preaching. His acharan itself, what he is doing, that itself is one kind of preaching. So preaching means, when your kipa, whatever what you are getting, overflowing, when your kipa is overflowing, then you are interested to distribute the kipa to others. Morning time I was speaking, no? When you are overflowing kipa, then you are going to distribute kipa among. This is called the actual meaning of preaching. This is called the actual meaning of preaching. Otherwise, what preaching you can do? Anyway. I was speaking that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, just like an ordinary human being, praying where to, a devotees are thinking, Prabhu, where, where we can make accommodation for Prabhu. So finally, they take a decision, some devotees speak, oh, it is a nice place. Kasi Mr. Bhavan is an appropriate place because it is a half, half way. Prabhu like to go to ocean to take bath, Okay, if Prabhu like to go to Jagannath Mandir, halfway, halfway, very good. And also at the same time, the orchard, all around garden, everything nice. Prabhu can feel very, Prabhu can feel very happy. Solitary, at the same time not solitary. That is called Kashi Mishra Bhavan, what you at present know as Gambhila, Gambhila Mandir. Gambila means me gravity. Gambila means me secrecy. Gambila means mystery. Gambila means so many meaning. Gambila means mystery. Gambila means secret. Gambila means very, uh, you know, this is called man. Because really, where Mahaprabhu getting accommodation, Bhagavan himself staying, so surely this place, Gambila. Very nice place. So, when uh, asking to Kasimisro, Kasimisro feeling very shy. Prabhu asking, Can you allot one room for me? I can do bhajan. Kasimisro became very sorry. Why are you asking? All yours. Whatever you like, you take all yours. When you look, any room, anywhere you like to stay, all dedicated to you. But Mahaprabhu, like a human being, asking. <coughs> asking. This way, ultimately, he was accommodated inside this Gambhira Mandir. <coughs> all devotees staying all around, different places. Like Haridas Thakur, he was giving accommodation in Tota, I Tota, one garden there. 
he was given, it is a Haridas Thakur Bhajan Kutir. It is also covering eye. Eye tot was very big. Near Gambira Mandir. Near Gambira Mandir, at present you will have to come out of Gambira Mandir, go this way, enter into a lane, go the zigzag, and not so far. But that time there was no building. That time there was no building, na? all garden, all around, overlooking sea. I myself, in the age of seven, eight, I was taken to Puri. I can remember, that's a no, no hostel, no gate house, nothing. All uh, around ocean. Sixty years back. I can remember, I was a small boy, feeling fear of the ocean. Ocean when rearing, by the rearing of ocean, it is impossible to sleep. Um, um, now all gone. Nothing can see. All building, guest house, and all and hostel, all, all around. All contaminated. So that time, from Gambila Mandir, you can see the place of Haridas Thakur. At that time, overlooking Gambira Mandir. Haridas Thakur used to stay in such a place, overlooking Gambira Mandir. And a Jagannath Chakra always available, because it was a high, everybody can see, because now that, that time no, no impediments, no hotel, nothing, all. If you stand here, the ocean, you can see Jagannath Temple. So, okay, nice. Haridas Thakur was given nice accommodation, he was also very, and Godadar Pandit was giving accommodation after. Where? They are in Tota Gopina. There was garden, I Tota. From there, Mahaprabhu himself discovered Gopinath. Gopinath was there. You have seen Gopinath? No. You have seen not Tota Gopinath. That was there under sea, under ocean, uh, under uh, sand. Suddenly, one day, Mahaprabhu gone there, passing out, cleaning sand, and showing this Gopinath and taking out. Big Gopinath. Sitting Gopinath. Sitting, not standing. That Gopinath was given to Gadadhar Pandit for serving. This way he was given there. So from then onward, Gadadhar Pandit started serving Gopinath. And Gopinath or Gauranga, no difference between them. All same. This way Mahaprabhu, uh, every day, all the time, going to Jagannath Mandir, dancing, singing, all the time, doing parikram, everything, to teach us. Actually, that time, Mahaprabhu not gone into deep Baba. By that time, Mahaprabhu exposing some other kind of Leela, preliminary thing. By that time, Mahaprabhu not gone into deep Leela. Not that. Yesterday, dancing, singing, everything. Harinam Sankirtan, that's why it is written in Chaitanya Charitamrita. That Bahiranga Loya Kore Nam Sankirtan Antaranga Loya Kore Ras Asadan. Mahaprabhu wanted to show us all Nam Sankirtan, everything fast, distribution Nam, everything. But gone to deep Baba after, not now. So Mahaprabhu gone to South India, Mahaprabhu gone North India, so many places. Follow. After that, when Mahaprabhu come back, then Mahaprabhu exposing deep Baba. Extreme Baba. You cannot imagine. So nice. So anyway, now we are going to discuss about what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu doing in Nilachal uh, Jagannath Puri. Jagannath Puri, all Panda, everybody knowing Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu cannot hide himself. Mahaprabhu likes to hide himself as devotee. Mahaprabhu always likes to hide himself as devotee. But Mahaprabhu, how can hide? 
It is very clear by watching on Mahaprabhu, everybody can uh, this kind of man is not possible. <laughs> Mahaprabhu always like to hide, like an ordinary devotee. But after looking at Mahaprabhu, how possible? In the whole universe, you cannot search out one such man who is looking like this. So it's very clear. So even Sarvabhama Bhattacharya, who is the topmost Mayavadi Pandit, Pandit actually this word I should not use. Because the actual meaning of Pandit, Bhagavan Sri Krishna wanted to speak to Uddha. So I feel sorry. I'm bound to speak, but I like to clarify. Pandit, this word I don't like to use, but I have to use. Pandit actually, what is the meaning of Pandit? Doesn't that actually I know Sanskrit, I know all Sanskrit, that's why I am Pandit. This is not the meaning of Pandit. This is not the actual meaning of Pandit. That I know Shastra, I know Sanskrit, that's why I am Pandit. This is material, literal meaning. Actual meaning is not that. Actual meaning, Bhagavan Sri Krishna, in front of Bhagavan Sri Krishna, Uddhavji Maharaj wanted to ask, Prabhu, like yesterday I told now, who is a miser, who is poor, I told, you remember, na? Like Bhagavan Sri Krishna uh, to Krishna Uddhav Arsi. Prabhu, who is actually Pandit? Everybody say, he is Pandit, he is Pandit. He is. Who is actually Pandit? Prabhu giving answer, right answer. What is the answer? You should not forget it. You should not forget it. Pandito Bandha Makshabit. What speaking? Pandito Bandha Makshabit. He is Pandit. Who is, who is aware about the fact that this way, if I go, it is one kind of bondage for me. If I go this way, I can become free of all, you know, influence of Maya, I can become free and do Krishna Bhajan. So you see the meaning of Krishna. One word, Krishna speaking, but explanation is big. It seems one word, Krishna speaking only is one line, small. But the inner meaning, if you go, like, sometime I am speaking, Apopa speaking, I am not speaking. Those who are completely dedicated unto the lotus feet of Krishna, only and only they have their power to speak about that absolute truth. Others know what. What do you mean? That means, who is Trinadapi, Sunich, he can speak Harikatha. I can, like mathematics, I can show you, like mathematics. Like A is equal to B, B is equal to C, C is equal to D. So surely A is equal to D. Common logic. Similarly, Mahaprabhu in the beginning wanted to show us. Tena dupi suni chano, taro rupi sahishrana, amanina manadino, kitta niyo sadahari. Mahaprabhu told long ago. Tena dupi suni chano. Those are humbara, then the blade of grass. Tena dupi suni chano, taro rupi can more forbearing than the trees. All he like to honor others. And for himself, no, no honor. Then Adi Vishnu Tara Rusajna, Amanina Manadino, Kittaniya Sadahari. I mean the first and foremost, the many basic qualification. Before Harikirtan, before speaking Harikata, Harikirtan, you should attend this quality. Otherwise, don't go for teaching. Before going to speak Harikatha, you must attend this sloka. I mean Trinadapi. So what do you mean by Trinadapi? Whereas Pope was speaking, those who are 100% inclined, they only they can speak like fire. Oh, everybody cannot speak. They can feel fear. What do you mean? Because those who are fearing, Surely they are expecting some honor position from market. That's why they have no right to speak. They fear because they expect honor position money from you all. That's why they fear. If I speak this way, nobody can give me honor. Uh, everybody can come not. Be. So it's more practical to speak sweet way. So everybody can come and Maharaj ki jai ho can speak this way. That's why. So, if you calculate, that means 
if I am 100% Saranagati means Tinadavi. Tinadavi means speaking like fire, meaning ex exactly absolute truth. So all interrelated. Tinadavi doesn't mean he cannot speak absolute truth. He cannot do no what. It is drama. Prabhupada speaking, it is one kind of drama. They are playing one kind of drama. Dhanavad, Dhanavad, Dhanavad. It is one kind of drama. Actual no Tinadavi there. Tinadavi means you must speak about the absolute truth so that you can deliver all those fallen souls. You cannot hide something. You are hiding because you need name, fame, position, everything. Hello. So, Sri Chaitanya Sarvama Vattacharya, actually Pandit, this word I should not use, but I am bound to speak. Not only Mayavad Bichar, not that only Mayavad, Sarvabhama knowing Mayavad topmost, and not only Mayavad, all other Sastra, all memorize, all Sastra, everything, your logic, Vedanta, Ved, whatever you ask, I can speak. So, Mahaprabhu told him, you are actually Devaguru Brahaspati. Mahaprabhu himself told, you are Brahaspati, Devaguru Brahaspati. So now you understand. That Sarvambhava Bhattacharya Jo, he was feeling very happy, uh, very happy in the sense, by getting naturally, without, without knowing, like Prakasananda. Even he has no idea that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Supreme Lord. No idea. He thinks he is a, a young chap. I am 24. Even he is speaking, in Varanasi, don't go to him. Prakasananda Saraswati in Varanasi, giving advice to everybody, hey, don't go to Chaitanya. Don't go. He is a cheater. He knows some, you know, black magic. <laughs> Prakasananda used to say, advice, hey, don't go. So have some black magic. He no. I don't know why everybody coming in front of him and accepting, ah, Hare Krishna. But he said, don't go. You can lose everything. Oh, really? But that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu when finally coming in front of him. That Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he used to, he used to criticize all the time. Chaitanya, not Sikh, no Chaitanya. He used to say, <coughs> He used to say Chaitanya, Chaitanya. Oh, only Chaitanya, not Sri Krishna Chaitanya. He used to ignore him. Ah, Chaitanya, useless, Chaitanya, useless. Ah, don't go there. You can lose everything. But when Mahaprabhu manifesting Leela to come in front of him, there was so long history I can speak after. When coming in front of him, after watching his mood and watching his activities, he is feeling wheezy. First of all, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu coming in the assembly, he was invited, Mahaprabhu purposely coming to deliver them. After coming, he is washing his leg in, the, in a tap, hand tap there. After washing, he is sit, sitting there, where everybody washing leg, that dirty place is going to say, Hey, why you are sitting there? It's dirty place. Why not you sit here? No, no, no. Actually, I'm fallen. I'm actually fallen. I have no right to sit with you all. You are elevated. No, 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 no. This is not good. They are going to catch. Because I'm the catching Mahaprabhu. You, you come here. Sit in the... Actually, I have no right to sit with you all. I'm fallen. The first of all, that was a magic spell. After sitting in the dirty place, after washing leg, Mahaprabhu was sitting in the dirty place, after that, expressing some body effulgence. Expressing some body for as if hundred sun god arise. Purposely, Mahaprabhu, after sitting in the dirty place, expressing body effulgence. All those Mayavadi watching. It's a body effulgence so much. After that, they get up and get. You sit here. I have no right to sit with you all. You are elevated at all. No, 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 no. You should, you should sit here. Actually, we have one question. You are actually uh, our own Sampradaya Sadhu. 
Mane Mayavadi thinking, Prabhu, Prabhu is also Mayavadi Sannyasi. They think we are Mayavadi Sannyasi. They are also, so you are all, you are from our own Sampradaya, Mayavadi. So why you are not going to get our association? Why not hearing Vedanta or not reading only Hare Krishna, Hare What is this? Then Mahaprabhu told, actually, my Guru Maharaj told me, after watching, I am uneducated. Mahaprabhu speaking to Prakasananda to, to break his to break his falsehood. Actually, what to speak? My Gurudev, after watching, I am a very fallen and you know uneducated, illiterate. So Guru say you have no right in Vedanta. So better you can go on doing this mantra. Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Then you can get it. So by the order of Gurudev, I am doing dancing. I am actually not doing. The mantra itself having so power, the mantra itself having so power, that I cannot stop me from dancing. I cannot stop myself. When I am chanting this mantra, by the power of mantra, I am dancing, singing, automatically. This is the... Anyway, this way, I give one example. How Mahaprabhu used to break the false ego of everybody, at the same time not... Expressing hearts very hard. Hey, we are to jump, not this way. Every time, everywhere, every time, wherever Mahapu wanted to change the mind of anybody, you go through all books, Chaitanya Bhagavad Gita, every time, <coughs> by some different technique approach, different technique of approach, like in South Indian trip. When Mahaprabhu meet with some Buddhist, their guru, Buddhist guru, they like to discuss some point with Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu giving humble, very politely giving all answer to their question. After that, Buddhist, they took one, uh, took one decision that we can contaminate this sannyasi. They are looking very pure, very nice. So we can do one thing. We can cook very rubbish thing and we can serve to him as prasadam. Follow. So the leader of that Buddhist team that took decision well uh, take one very dirt, dirty rice like Ramanujaju. He was also served with prasadam which was poison was there. Charnamito poison to kill Ramanujaju. You don't know. So when the leader of Buddhist speaking, here you are, your prasadam, you take, eh? Prasadam? Oh, give, 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 give. Whenever Buddhist, you know, they're speaking, here is prasadam for you. Where is prasadam? Here. Give me, give me the plate, big plate. Then suddenly one big bird coming, fly, and take the, take the pot up and throw. And the pot coming and falling on the head of the leader who was ready to do some mischievous activities, getting punishment. All oh, the pot from up, falling metallic pot, and break, blood coming, all oh, disciples crying, our Guru, they've gone. Follow this way. Every time, Mahaprabhu never going to express a harsh mood, ever to do, I, not fighting mood. So here also, when Sarvam Bhattacharya is thinking, I mean, Pandit, this word you should remember again. Again, I can repeat, Bhagavan Sikh is speaking. He is Pandit who is having clear idea about what to do, what not to do. What to do, what not to do. This way, if you go, it is one kind of bondage for you. And if you go this way, no bondage can stand. Mahaprabhu, who has a clear idea, this activities, this behavior can put me into bondage, and this way if you go, I can get free. Pandito Bandha Makshabit. Pandito Bandha Makshabit. He is Pandit, who is well aware, wars about this point. He can make himself free of Maya, this Pandit. So Pandit doesn't mean, I have Sanskrit knowledge, I know Shastra, I know Shastra, all, everything. 
This is not the meaning, Mahaprabhu told. Follow. Pandit Panda. Panda. Panda means Panda. Panda means clear idea. So anyway, Sarvam Vatajajo, by now taking decision, this is a very nice boy, very nice man, very handsome, very nice. Only 22 or 24, how he can maintain a sannyas? This is not the right age to take sannyas. Different kind of annabila, attraction. I think he cannot maintain sannyas. So, better uh, I can guide him. Sarvamataja, better I can guide him. And accordingly, so much adversity, going to speak to Mahaprabhu, Sri Krishna. Actually, your age is very... This is not the age to take sannyas. Anyway, you have done some mistake after taking... Ah, okay, I am there. I can save you, eh? Okay? Mahaprabhu, it is, it is your highness. It is your highness. It is your great highness that you like to save me. Affection. Okay. I, I can always stay under your guidance. You see the mood of Mahaprabhu. I can say, under your guidance. It is your highness, great highness. That you like to show affection to me. I can always say, you don't go to Jagannath Mandir alone because that day by chance I was there. Sarvam was speaking. Don't go to Jagannath Mandir alone. By chance I was that day I was there with you. The other is who was going to save you? <laughs> who is the protector of infinity world? Who is running infinity world like dust particles? Who? And Sarvam that day, by chance, I was there. Other who? <laughs> I was there to protect you. Don't go alone. Either you can go with, go with me to take the son of Jagannath because, and, or I can give my son with you to take Jagannath. Don't, alone you cannot go. That day, it was a very dangerous situation. So who can save you? So, okay, I can go with you or your son, no problem. Under your guidance, I can stay. Sarvam Vateja, your day by day, unknowingly, unknowingly, having no idea, is Supreme Lord. But still, Bhagavan is always all attractive, na? like magnet. Even without understanding, is Bhagavan. Like I can go to Bhagavatam. I can give one example, then you can understand. Even after, even without knowing, there is Bhagavan. I don't know he is Bhagavan, but still I can feel some attraction. It's automatic. Bhagavan is all attractive, no? I can give one example, then you can realize this point. When all Gopikas, senior Gopikas, they wanted to Krishna as their own son. They like to take care of Krishna, give breast milk, kiss Krishna. But Krishna is the son of Jasoda. So we cannot get, we like to get this kind of son. This kind of son is no, no other sample, only one sample, unique. No sample of Krishna. Krishna, Krishna itself is a sample. So where from sample you can get? So they are thinking, if we could get Krishna as our son, we could embrace and kiss. It's a son of actually Jasoda. Sometimes we can catch, but not always. We cannot get Krishna as our own son. Krishna, sitting inside heart, Krishna thinks, oh, they want to get me as their son, to love me, kiss me. Okay, I can fulfill their desire. How? How? That was the technique. When Brahma came to test Bhagavan Krishna, he is Bhagavan or coward boy. Not Bhagavan. If Bhagavan, why going to take the Uchista uh, of a uh, coward boy? Bhagavan can never take Uchista. So he surely is not Bhagavan. Because Krishna taking all Uchista. Because boys are taking fruits. Krishna, after eating. Krishna, this fruit is very sweet. You take. Very sweet. I give, give, give. So how we can understand is Bhagavan? Bhagavan never take. Bhagavan is, you know, uh, stay in his own helm. As I am Bhagavan. Sanko Chakka Gadapata, bless you. This kind of Bhagavan, what kind of Bhagavan? Who is running with coward boys, taking Uchista, rolling down on ground. That useless. He cannot be Bhagavan. Brahma thinking this way. So he wanted to 
She wanted to test Bhagavan. She wanted to test Bhagavan. So how to test? They are making feast, you know, in the forest. All different foods and flowers they all for home they brought, they are distributing. Krishna, my mother giving this. Okay, you take. No, no, you also take something. My mother giving this one. You get a little bit you test. It's very tasty. This way Krishna taking. His own place is also there. After that, they cannot watch uh, where is a uh, where is those uh, calf? We are gone. We cannot see. Oh, maybe gone long distance. Let me check out. No, no, no. Krishna speaking. You need not go. You peacefully take your all your prasadam. I myself can go and check up where. This one kind of technique. They are thinking where our calf gone. We cannot see long. They were there grazing, but now maybe long distance gone. Krishna speaking. Don't worry. You take you take prasadam. I am just. Coming back. I can go and search out. When Krishna gone, there is no calf, nothing. Krishna said, we are gone. Impossible. Every day we are coming in the field. We are going to... But now we cannot trace out. Then Krishna closed his eyes and watching. Because usually Krishna acting as a just like human being. You and me. But some special case, Krishna cannot remember that I am Supreme Lord. If Krishna can remember I am Supreme Lord, then he cannot do this same sweet Leela. Krishna likes to forget. It is the arrangement of Yogamaya. So now Krishna considers, where are gone? He closed his eyes. Oh, Brahma abducted. Brahma abducted. Brahma. After that, Krishna not speaking. Okay, let me go. Uh, where my where uh, uh, my friends are there coming? Uh, friends are not there. Friends friends are also vanished. All cops are vanished, and all friends are vanished. Where where gone? Then Krishna watching. It is a it is a testing of Brahma. After that, Brahma manifesting himself. Hey, after that Krishna manifesting himself. As, as it is, each and every calf, whatever design, whatever wa color, everything, all as it is, Krishna from his own body manifesting. All covered boys, all covered boys and calves, all. Try to understand the meaning. After that, evening time, Krishna coming himself. There is no covered boys, nothing. Krishna himself coming, na? All coward boys, he himself, na? All coward boys, who there? He himself manifesting. So all they are coming, entering the room, respective room, his mother, his mother this way, all respective, respective mother, respective mother, they are going to catch their own boy, but that is, they are not their own boy, it's Krishna himself. Krishna coming in the form of their own boy to fulfill their desire. Then all mothers, they are going to catch their boy. But extraordinary feeling. Every day they are going to catch their boy, kissing. But today, special attraction. Similarly, actually, Sarvabhama Bhattacharya, this is example I give. But without knowing, all Brajagopika, senior Brajagopikas, Brother Gopi, they are feeling some attraction. They don't know it's Krishna, but they are feeling something. So we, every day, we are, uh, we are kissing our boy, embracing, but today some uh, different kind of feeling. So much sweetness, so much attraction, as if we don't like to lift from lap. We like to kiss. Because unknowingly, they are going to embrace Krishna. They are not their boys. In the form of their boys, they are coming. Krishna himself. Similarly, those Sarvamu Bhattacharya who having no idea, is Bhagavan himself. Must feel. Bhagavan himself, we don't know. He is Bhagavan. But feel, feeling attraction. When looking at, when looking at Mahaprabhu, Krishna Chaitanya, feeling some attraction. Why he don't know? 
Finally, when he wanted to advise, when he wanted to advise Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, then his, you know, uh, actually Bonui, Bonui mean actually uh, wife, uh, the husband of his sister, husband of his sister, Sarvamata Jajo, he, Sarvamata Jajo, his sister and husband of the sister is Gopinath Acharya, one of, one of the great devotee of, he is one of the great devotee of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. One day, discussion going, one day, discussion going between Sarvam Vatajajo and Gopinath Acharya. Gopinath Acharya speaking, actually he is a small, uh, young age, has taken sannyas, and also he has taken sannyas from a, from a group, from a group which is not so important. I mean, there is Puri, Bharati, different group. There is different stream. They have group. Bharati, Puri, they have great. Puri means high, Bharati means low. Oh, he has taken sannyas from Kesa Bharati. I is, uh, Okay, I can do one thing. He has taken sannyas from a low group. You see the mood of Sarvamadhi. Sarvamadhi is saying, well, uh, Sri Krishna, is, uh, he has taken sannyas from a low group. Low, not so reputed. So, well, I can do one thing. I can also, again, I can give sannyas and I can go to some ritualistic activities and I can give new. Then Gopinath, Acharya was very sorry. What do you think? What do you think? You are expressing this kind of audacity to give sannyas freshly to him? Do you know who is he? Who is he? He is Supreme Lord. Hat! Supreme Lord. Hat! Useless Supreme Lord. <laughs> How Supreme Lord? Foolish. So then he has some joking relation. Na? This husband of sister. And you know, with him is a nice relationship. And they are joking and fighting. Hat! Useless. I say, you have seen him. Physically you have seen him. Physically, you have the scope to see him, but still you are foolish, you can. Hey, be careful. Before using any word, slag language, you very careful. I am speaking right. You have so much adversity. You have practically, you have seen him, but still you cannot understand his Supreme Lord. <laughs> very nice looking Supreme Lord. How I can believe? How I can believe? There is no Supreme Lord. There is no Supreme Lord in Kalika. No Supreme Lord can die. Gopinath Acharya, he was so much audacity. You say there is no avatar of, you know, Kalikal in Kalikal? Eh, eh? Yes, no avatar there. Yes, avatar is there. You go through Bhagavatam. There is written, Kalikal avatar is there, but secret avatar. Avatar cannot expose himself as Supreme Lord. Follow. Itham ni tirjog jhashavatarair, this sloka from Bhagavatam. <coughs> so, Gopinath Ajaya was speaking, you say there is no avatar. Krishna varnam, tishav, Krishna sangha, panga, astapa, everything all sloka there, even in Bhagavatam, in Mahabharata also. Suvarna varna, he mangos, chandanangati, eh? all sloka there, you say no avatar. No, it's not about the how I can believe. Okay. You have your false ego, na? you are Pandit. I am not great Pandit like you. Okay. I am less interested to fight with you. Okay, drop the matter. Someday, I forecast, someday, by the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you can understand his well. Because, Bhagavan, Guru, Vaishnav, they are all self-manifesting object. Try to know this Siddhanta. Guru, Vaishnav, Bhagavan, Dham, Nam, they are all self-manifesting object. By the application of a force, you cannot. 
by your own force you cannot get. It's self-manifesting. Like Prabhupada giving one example. Prabhupada giving one example. One foolish man, he like, because that time there was no watch, nothing, love. There was no watch, nothing. All people used to wa uh, watch the position of sun. So anyway, so that time, Mahaprabhu giving one example. Example, what example? One man, night time, uh, he liked to, uh, liked to check up where is sun god. One wise man speaking, you foolish, and the sun god, he is getting a big light to watch where, search out where is sun god. <laughs> he is going to search out where is sun god. I cannot see sun. You idiot. You idiot, you are searching sun god. Hey, I am searching where is sun god. The sun god, if sun god is there, itself you can, itself manifest it. When sun god can arise, and sun god, by you can see the sun god, and you can see the whole world. This is the example Prabhupada used. This is the example Prabhupada used to say. Prabhupada says, Sun God, you can see by the power of Sun God. Similarly, Guru, Vaishnava, Bhagavan, all self effulgent, self manifesting. Whenever you are going to enjoy the Kripa of Ishwar, then you can understand His Supreme Lord. Ishwarer Kipalesh. Ishwarer Kipalesh Hayato Jahare Seito Ishat Tatto Chinivare Pare. What Gopinath Ajajo speaking? What Gopinath Ajajo speaking? Ishwarer Kipalesh Hayato Jahare Seito Ishat Tatto Janivare Pare. When you are going to enjoy the creep of Ishwar, Atha Pite Padambujo. Leso Anugrihyato Evahi Janati Tatyam Bhagavan Mahimno All different slokas are no time to discuss. Athapite Padambuja Dayo Prasada Leso Anugrihyato Evahi Janati Tatyam Bhagavan Mahimno Nacha Eko Api Chiran Vishinmano By individual effort which is a futile effort you can never come out. Demigod speaking. One can try whole life, life after life, infinity life, but still he cannot know Ishvatvatva. If somehow, by the help of Guru Vaishnava or something, they are going to get the Kripa of Bhagavan, then their heart can clean, they can know. Ishvatvatva is not a matter of challenging. I cannot put challenge with Ishwar Guru Vaishnava. It's, it's not good. Demigod speaking. In Bhagavatam, by personal effort, infinity pure you can try. You cannot understand. Ishwarer kipales hoyto jahare seito ishvatvato janibad. When the kipa can drop on your head, you yourself can command. You yourself can realize, Supreme Lord. Now I don't like to fight with you. I have no time. I like to drop the matter. Okay, you go. You cannot prove. I give so much evidence from Mahabharata. Subarna, Varna, Hemangos, Chandanangati. All evidence I give from Mahabharata, Bhagavat, Upanishad. Upanishad, so many. But you don't believe? No, no avatar is there in Kalika. Huh? In Kalika, no avatar. Kalika, no avatar. Right you are. But Kalika, avatar is there. But secret avatar. Itham nitir yoga jashavatarir, the sloka pullad mahasvik. Secretly. Channa avatar. Kalau, channa avatar. Avatar not going to identify himself. Oh, I am devotee. Hey, don't I like to. Mahaprabhu like to catch the lotus feet of devotees. Hey, you give me dust particle. <laughs> Mahaprabhu himself. Going to take the dust particle. You give me, you devotee, you can bless me. Then I can know Bhagavan. He himself is Bhagavan. This is the technique. So, this way Mahaprabhu all the time wanted to hide himself. I can give so many examples one by one. He always wanted to hide himself, but Bhagavan is self effulgence. Bhagavan is self effulgence. Who can stop? 
if you look at sarva if you look at mahaprabhu after looking you can come to this conclusion this kind of human being we have never seen in infinity world there is no such human is it not possible his activities his prema his everything can speak vouch in favor of his supreme lord sip he is supreme lord he automatically can prove but there is no need of fighting so gopinath acharya jo gone he was very sorry because sarvam what he wanted to express it adversity to give a newly i can give i can freshly give sanyas to him and uh, he sarvam what he jo speaking this way gopinath acharya jo speaking you don't know who is he he is not depending upon a uh, sampradaya which sampradaya which sanyas he took less interested he is supreme lord himself that uh, after that fighting took place gopinath acharya wanted to withdraw himself i don't like to waste my time some day if you can enjoy full keep up that bhagwan then you go. i don't like to stop okay okay go go okay well i can see how we can say is bhagwan well directly there is evidence lakshan there is symptom like this is no applied anthropology we know such doctor in our life is a boyhood one doctor he used to work with vidhan rai vidhan chandra rai the top man he used to catch us a small boy hey what you have taken yesterday i said nothing no speaking lie you have taken this can catching way this in, in, you know pulse you can understand so words only by watching us you can understand so there is some sin now at present if you go i hey, you go blood test you go heart test you go again x ray all money gone poor man cannot yes one poor man a first of all by blood why blood they like to snatch money from the pocket of poor people we in our life we have seen such doctor in our locality who can look at me and touch test and speak but now no doctor applied anthropology not there only testing go for messing this that the what is your idea no applied anthropology previously mediria medida medial cup mediria medical this should have direct symptom but at at present you cannot find such a single doctor this problem so who is supreme lord who is not ordinary human so you cannot understand you cannot understand devotee can understand when a devotee pure devotee can look at anybody they can understand what is there inside their heart you cannot make fool of them they have idea if they look at the eyes then they can understand what is the condition you cannot make fool of them so idea clear idea by watching single activity by hearing one single word they can say he is a material man he is not acharya eh? what you say you are going to insult i am not going to insult i am going to open the fact by hearing only one single word is material when one sound coming huh? you are hearing material why everybody honored him a thousands of disciples so what fact is fact truth is truth you cannot stay in guise of devotee long time some day it can get exposed so anyway chaitanya mahaprabhu can never be expo uh, never be covered up or uh, never be bhagwan can can never hide himself bhagwan trying his best but anyway devotees can understand his supreme lord day by day one by one i can go on speaking example through which you can realize that how mahaprabhu wanted to change the heart of heart of mayavadi mayavadi their heart is compared with stone chip mayavadi their heart is compared with pasand or pasand you know like iron iron bar and devotees their heart is like 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 butter 
Devotee is there, heart is like butter, so soft. It can get melt. But those who are Mayavadi, Pasando, their heart is just like iron piece. But that situation of Mahaprabhu was successful each and every time to melt the heart of that Pasanda, whose heart is compared with stone or iron or Bajra, but you know, thunderbolt. But Mahaprabhu was each and every time successful to melt the heart of opponent. One by one, if you hear, you can go mad. But Mahaprabhu not fighting with anyone. Humble mood. So humble mood, going to change. Anyway, today I like to stop here. Sangsar Sindhu Uttarane Hidayam Jadi Sad Shankirtanam Ritara Se Ramate Manosched Premaham Buddha Viharane Jadi Chitta Bhitti Chaitanya Chanda Charane Kurutanuragam Chaitanya Chanda Charane Kurutanuragam Vanchakalpaturusikabasindhu Patitanang Pavana Bhavishnabhyo Namo